Hello, how's it going? This is a simple tutorial showing how to open glyphs files on a Linux computer. To 18, um, but this should work in a similar way with um, Arch or Fedora or anything else. So let's get started. What is a glyphs file? Um, so you, you may be a designer using Linux and you will, will be looking at font sources and you will run across something, uh, maybe a uncompiled font with a .glyphs extension. So what is this? This is a glyphs file um, created with the program glyphs app, which is a font editor. Um, confusingly, even though the, um, the tagline is font ed editing for everyone, Glyphs is a Mac OS only program. So opening it on a Linux computer can be difficult and confusing. Um, so let me, give me just a second here. Um, we're going to need two programs in order to do this. Um, let's see. Here we go. So, one of the programs is Font Make, which is used for compiling um, font files. And the other is TrueFont, which is a Python 3 open source font editor. And so we'll use that to look at and open our files once we've converted them to um, UFO, which is a unified font object. Um, this is a, it's another uncompiled font format, um, but it's, um, it's much more cross-platform and open um, than Glyphs. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need, um, we're going to need a file to work with. So I'm just going to use um, this YesEva1 repo. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm in a temp directory, so I'll know I can delete this later. Get clone. And I'm going to clone that. And so I, for, I forgot to mention, um, for I showed you true font and font make. You'll have to install those. I'm not going to go over that in this video. Um, let me know if, if you have any trouble installing them. I'd be happy to make, um, make some more videos showing how to do those installations. But both, of them, both projects have installation instru instructions in the README. Okay. So, we're looking in this repo and we have a sources directory. And so here we have our glyphs file. And we want to use font make to convert that from a glyphs format, which we can't open on Linux, to a UFO format, which we can open on Linux. So with font make installed, we can just enter um, font make and it'll give us um, some basic commands. Another, you can, if you want um, more information, you can always hit font make dash h, which will give you a little bit more detail about those commands. So yesiva1.glyphs, we would want to do font make 
G for glyphs. So this would, like if we run this, this would, I'm not gonna run it, but it would probably output um, OTFs and TTFs for this. But that's not what we wanna do. We wanna, we wanna open it um, as a UFO. So we'll put output UFO. Um, Just a second. There we go. So we have our master UFO folder. And we have a design space um, file and we have our UFO. Um, UFOs are really cool. Um, you can kind of see Um, you can go into the glyphs folder, and so here's all these. Um, it's just basically a directory, and so each glyph has its own file. Very cool. So now we want to open this. So we've installed TrueFont. And you can just do go true font, um, true font run the UFO file. And there we go. So here's our glyphs file converted to a UFO. Pretty cool, huh? All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, leave, um, feel free to leave any comments. Um, thanks a lot, bye.